Hello, I'm Joe Lenton from Original Art Photography and welcome to this video. Here we're going to have a look at what to do if your subject has got some red patches on their skin from sunburn and those sorts of things, how we can uh, bring that down and match it in better with the overall skin tone. So this image here of Anna, this beach um, portrait that I shot, has already had some retouching done to it, but as you can see there are still patches of, like, sort of sunburn on the shoulder up here and there's a little bit of red around here as well. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can have a go at um, blending this in with the rest of the skin. Sometimes one way works a bit better than another. I'll start with probably the, um, the, the simplest thing to try, and we'll see whether that has any effect in this instance. So we're going to open up a hue saturation layer, and once that dialog comes up there, where it's got master, if you change that to reds and then grab the saturation slider and take that across to the left you'll see that as I raise it and lower it you can see that those particular patches on her skin are particularly affected so if I take that down so that they are losing most of their saturation obviously at the moment it's taking the reds out of everything but if we leave it like that uh, and then what we do is we create um, a black mask onto that layer uh, so hold down Alt or Option and click on the mask and you get a black mask. Um, if you end up with a, a white one just by clicking on the mask normally then you just press uh, Control or Command I to invert it. So now that isn't affecting anything. So if we um, zoom in a little bit and we're going to look at um, just this area on the shoulder for the moment. We get the brush tool, that's B for brush and then we need um, white as the foreground colour so D for your defaults and then X to swap it um, to white in the foreground. Um, size your brush accordingly using the square brackets and uh, we'll take the opacity and flow down a little bit, so 40%, and then just start brushing it over those red areas on the skin, like that. So you can see you can take that back fairly nicely but then the more that you put on especially if we start coming down a bit further is that starts to go a little bit gray it's starting to lose a little bit too much um, of the red from areas where we don't want it so you do have to be quite careful where you're painting that onto it um, otherwise you will be taking red out of all of the skin or bits around it which don't do then look very unnatural rather than just dealing with the area that you're after so we can see before and after we've managed to lower that amount of red a bit but it's still it's still difficult to get it completely blended in that way so that's how, that can work sometimes just using a hue saturation layer and, um, and playing around with it like that uh, we're going to have a look at a, another option so we're just going to get rid of that layer that I've just put in there okay now this time we want a blank layer new blank layer and we're going to use the brush tool again, so B for brush, and with this we're going to be sampling colours and we need to do it at a very low opacity, so we'll go for opacity 10, flow 10. 10 or 20 is is, is plenty for this sort of thing. Um, what you're going to do is use the older option key to uh, turn it to the sample sampler, the little um, dropper tool here. When you click, you'll see it samples that colour, which then brings it up into your um, foreground colour there and you can then paint with it and the idea is that you take regular samples from a neighboring good skin tone that looks uh, pretty natural and as you'd expect it to be where there isn't that sort of red you take um, regular samples as you can see I'm doing there and then you just brush it over the top of the uh, the red part so if I turn that off and on, you can see clearly that that has come up there. Now, in this particular instance, um, with this particular image, uh, her shoulder's fairly soft, so we haven't got a lot of detail that we would be losing. But one option to do, if you did have some detail there you were wary of losing, because uh, obviously just painting colour on there, you risk obscuring the skin texture of that, is to change your blend mode to colour, and uh, that can just help to make sure that you don't lose the... Um, the differences in terms of light and dark and details and so on, all that contrast it there. So you can see this is this is in colour now. You can see turn that on and off, and that red uh, changes, disappears almost for us. So 
colour mode there tends to be the best one if you're wanting to keep keep something fairly um, close to as it was without losing all that skin texture and so on. So sample around nearby. Um, you need to also think about the area that you're in. You don't want to be painting too much really light stuff over an area which is a bit darker in your image. So you sometimes need to sample some darker tones to do that with and uh, look for areas which are going to be similarly lit uh, to other parts of your image and that's where you want to be sampling from ideally and um, I do prefer to do it at this low opacity and just build it up gradually because you're less likely to get uh, messy problems than if you do it at a high opacity things can very quickly get out of hand and you just end up seeing messy brush strokes and things everywhere which is not very nice so you know, end up getting rid of one problem and creating another one and at least with this it's generally not too bad and if you get it a bit patchy or a bit wrong you can then go back over it afterwards with a healing uh, healing brush so let's just turn that on and off and you can see that red in that central area on the chest there has been reduced so if you think it's a little bit patchy you can go for something like a uh, healing brush and just sample uh, next to it and then you can go over areas where you think it's kind of a little bit patchy just to sort of get it to even things out for you so it's not the end of the world even if that doesn't work brilliantly but um, let's just turn that one off so that's with the color blend mode if I turn that back to, to normal you'll see there that that has gone a little bit sort of too smooth it looks very very blurred and that's because of all the color that I've painted on there so just remember that if you're doing this you generally want to change your blend mode and the color there has just helped us to uh, take that red back a little bit um, without making it look uh, sort of look we've done too much to it um, so it's a useful sort of effect to have uh, when you've got areas on the skin like that that you want to deal with oops I've got that on saturation which is not a very good idea that's why it's come back to red there we go color and and that disappears you can then of course work at it a little bit further to blend it in more you can use frequency separation and on the sort of blurred layer you can then use that to um, overlay the color from neighboring parts of the skin and, and, and blend that in a little bit bit better that's another method and to do that you need to produce a stamp of the whole thing as uh, control alt shift and E or um, uh, command option shift and E if you're working on a Mac and that will enable you to um, produce a stamp of all of the layers and then you duplicate that and the bottom layer there as you probably know with frequency separation there you're looking at creating a blur so you can see we can set that blur up so that the uh, the colors at the back there start to go soft and we lose any detail on our skin and then you do your other layer with image where are we uh, apply image and we go for which one are we after layer eight invert Okay, and you change the blend mode on that to linear light uh, and then on that lower level there you can then take um, a uh, stamp tool uh, the clone stamp tool and you can use it to um, copy various different um, areas like so there we go from nearby and paint again over the problem areas and that can that can smooth it out that little bit more uh, so that you, you can use to finally blend it all in and obviously spend a little bit more time than I have done there and make sure you do a an accurate proper job with it uh, no point in just rushing through it if you're going to do a, do an edit do it properly um, but that gives you some quick ideas there as to how we can go from having a little bit of a problem with uh, some of these red patches on there to being able to take it almost completely away um, so that you'd never have known that there would have been anything there in the first place you look at that bit there on the shoulder there the one that I've spent a bit more time on and you can see now that looks like natural skin much better so there's a few simple ways of dealing with sunburn and other um, colored patches on the, on the skin uh, try the um, hue saturation layer adjustment that may be enough to work for you but uh, it's not very precise um, that other method that I've shown you there create an empty layer sample and paint from nearby over the uh, affected area and then just to finish it off do a frequency separation 
and blend in that little bit more. I hope you find that helpful, especially with the uh, summer season coming up now. And um, I look forward to sharing more tips in the future with you uh, in other videos. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. There are various um, photography and photo editing videos available for you. Thank you very much for watching. This is Original Art Photography and I'm Joe Linton.